Hi everyone, welcome to my latest review. It's on the RPM Yellow Ranger. So, it's not much of a review, it's more of just showing you the detailing and the packaging. This is what the card looks like. And I basically went through the design and everything. So, this is what the back of it looks like. We have the basic RPM figures. The green, red, black, yellow, and blue rangers. And on the back here, we have a small gimmick. When you collect all the weapons, you can create this uh, super weapon, or right here. I keep forgetting the camera is inverted. <laughs> so anyways, this is what it looks like. And um, collect the entire RPM crew, as usual. And then for the front part of the figure, we have a Yellow Ranger figure. And on the sides, she has like all these little weapons. The first one, which looks really awesome, is a sword that she has. And Underneath the labeling, we have a small gun right over here, and then an RPM morpher. Then on this side right here, we have, sorry, my camera is lagging, I think there's something wrong with it. We have this uh, weapon right here, I don't know if it's a weapon or what it's supposed to be. We have a small green car right here, something that looks like a villain, and a briefcase. I'm being so curious as to what the briefcase does. And yeah, if you guys who actually open the yellow or silver rangers, please, uh, if you can, let, let me know what it does, because I've been so curious. I don't plan to open these figures because they're part of my mint on card collection. And on the on the title card, it reads Bear Ranger. Not a lame I'm a big fan of, that's why I'm glad they never actually incorporated it into the show. As you can see, the yellow ranger figure looks very feminine and looks very detailed. It looks like the Yellow Ranger from the TV show. It's very nice to see figures like this after seeing figures like these ones right here, which we got back then. But then again, you can't really blame them because uh, we're comparing 1993 to 2009 figures. So if you can get that, get her, go, I highly recommend it because the detailing is really top notch. And you'll have no problem getting her if you actually go now and grab them. I hear they're widely available in the US and also in Canada they are available in Toys R Us. So you'll be able to get her if you're in Canada for nine nineteen and in the US I hear that they have some special toy blowout. So don't miss your chance and don't wait too long ending up that you'll have to go to eBay or something like that's the last thing you'd want to do when they're available right now. So this is basically it and well, thanks for watching, and hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions or concerns, don't uh, hesitate to ask me.